hello and welcome. I'm Lauren and this is my booktube channel. So today we have a fun video planned. If you watch us over on Loranda Reads, you know we just did a entire everything on our physical TBR video and definitely while we were filming that, me having to go through all of the books that I own really made me realize how many books I have that I don't necessarily need to have on my shelves right now. In that video, I think I went over 108 of the physical books on my TBR and that didn't even include this smaller shelf that I have full of my paperbacks and like YA book outlet books that I have so today I'm really just going to try and unhaul some of these make room on my bookshelves we're just gonna go through some of the ones that I have and it can either move aside or donate ourselves should be interesting let's just get on into it so a lot of these are just gonna go back on my shelf but I do want to find the ones that I knew I was not gonna read that was a spider that just ran across that book yeah I don't love that these all seem good this romance stack I wonder if you could see the bottom I'm obviously keeping the rest of the Addicted series, Briar You. Here's where it gets a little funky. Do I think I'm ever gonna finish Emergency Contact? No. I DNF'd it. I think that should be one that I definitely sell. I could not get into this one. I wanted to get into it because of the author. However, I don't think this is the one for me. Which is super weird because I see this one a lot. I don't understand if it's more of the author hype. <gasps> the author is gorgeous. She grew up in Hong Kong and Texas? She's a Texas gal too. Okay, you know what? It is beautiful. Maybe I'll keep this one a little longer. Let me know if I should finish reading that. We're gonna keep on my Colleen. I'm definitely gonna unhaul 12 Dates of Christmas. Amanda read this one. She despised it. <laughs> How to Fail at Flirting. I don't think I will ever pick up. Definitely unhaul. Oh, why am I putting this on the wrong stack? The Happy Ever After playlist? I don't, I don't know about that. I think there's a couple that breaks up and they're fighting over the dog. And I'm sure the dog brings them back together. I can't, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry i'm a cat gal um the wedding date this is when i was supposed to read in february i never did i like the concept of this one i do like this this reminds me of like a just super rom-com movie i think i'm gonna keep that one i'm gonna keep the colleen and the christina lauren i think the rest of these i'm gonna keep we're gonna keep the divergent series the maze runner the book thief project tail mary of course Cersei. Unhaul. Amanda tried to read this one. She hated it. She DNF'd. If she didn't like it, I don't think I'm gonna like it. This is the stack that we're gonna go through right now because I feel like a lot of these I don't mind getting rid of. <laughs> Past Perfect Life is one that I'm actually interested in reading. Confessions about Colton, I don't think I'm gonna read anytime soon. Oh, but it was a Wattpad book. Now I have to read it. I have to. All we could have been, Unhaul. I'm never gonna read this. The Art of Breaking Things, I think I'm gonna keep that one. Hardbacks are a little bit harder for me to get rid of. Nick and June were here. I don't think I would read this. Mm-mm. No. In a small town, Nick and June hang out in an abandoned barn, dreaming of the future as Nick finger paints black birds all over June's body. If only things could stay so perfect forever. <laughs> it's just weird. Outside of the barn, they have to face their problems. Oh, June has schizophrenia and is coping with a recent diagnosis. <sighs> While dealing with symptoms, medications, and her parents. No, I'm gonna read it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I do love a good, like, mental health. Hope and Other Punchlines, beautiful cover. First Love, Lifelong Friendship, The Legacy of Loss, and The Stories We Tell Ourselves in Order to Survive. This sounds good. Okay. Keeping it. The Survival List. Let's see. What do you do when you lose the person you love most? I don't think I could deal with that. Books that have to do heavily with, like, grief and loss, like, it, it physically is hard for me to read. I don't think I would read this one. I don't think I would read this one. <gasps> Pay attention to the details. Mmm. I'm like, is it going to be kind of like a mystery type deal? Gosh dang it, they always get me. <laughs> Maybe I'll end up reading that one. The Chaos of Standing Still. I think this is like a Christmassy one. Ryan has one unread text message on her phone. Oh, Rin. Oh my god, I'm so bad with names, y'all know. Rin has an unread text message on her phone, and it's been there for almost a year. That one message is the last thing her best friend ever said to her before she died. What is me? What is with me buying all of these unforgettable all-night adventure? That's good. <laughs> The Letting Go, I did, I know I read this summary in one of our Loranda videos and that one sounded really interesting. The Lies They Tell, there's like a huge fire and she discovers what happened. That's kind of like a mystery, I'm gonna read it. Sky in the Deep, I'm gonna get to it, I promise. I love Adrienne Young, love Kristen Becca Ritchie. Side Effects May Vary, this is one I bought years, years ago, before I was even a reader. So I think I would get rid of that one. Dear Evan Hansen, I have to read because the movie's out and I want to see the movie. There's someone inside your house. I did DNF that last month, but I was in a really bad reading slump, so I'm going to give that one another shot. The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein. I'm going to read. 
that one's new <laughs> the unbecoming of mara dyer love it i can't wait to read that one and i can't wait to read strange creatures so we got a good chunk out of that one i think the rest of these i want to keep this wasn't a bad little unhaul <laughs> I know in the grand scheme of things, it's not a lot, but for me, letting go of this many books is a lot. Let's see if I have any more or if that's it. If I'm gonna go through this cubby by cubby, here is the first one. A lot of this shelf is just like old paperbacks that I either got at the beginning of my reading journey, ones I've already read, or <laughs> if they're still on here, ones that I probably won't read for a while. So just looking at this, one that I don't necessarily know if I would read is The Summer of Broken Things. I love the cover. I definitely think this was a book outlet purchase but I don't see myself reading this one anytime soon. Another one is this copy of Confess. I actually have two copies of this book by Colleen Hoover. I had bought one myself and I had gotten one as a gift for my birthday so I have not even read this. It's pretty much brand new. This might be one I could sell or donate so I'll make that one a separate pile. The Outliers I read. This book I just absolutely did not like. Oh my god, this is going to be a long night. Looking at this one, Holding Up the Universe, I read this one because this is the same author that did All Your Bright Places or All the Bright Places and I really did like that movie adaptation. I honestly did not really love this book, so I'm not so sure if I would either sell it or just move it someplace other than my shelves maybe. I'm not sure about this one. The Silent Patient, I feel like I'd want to keep. Every Last Word and Girl in Pieces are two of my favorite YA books ever, so definitely keeping that one. Where the Cross at seeing We Were Liars is a classic for me. Heaven looks a lot like The Mall. I don't think I will ever read. I definitely got this from Book Outlet. Suicide Notes from Beautiful Girls is one I have been wanting to read for a while. Playlist for the Dead I honestly didn't really like. I read this one last year. Okay, I fixed the shelf. These were on top and they were falling over so I put them right here. All we can do is wait. I don't think I would read. I think though that my friend and I might read this as a buddy read so I might keep it for that reason but if we end up not reading it I definitely have to get rid of that one it's been on my shelf for way too long and I haven't touched it my original copies of the summer I turned pretty series I have to keep these I read these in middle school reread them for the first time last year absolutely amazing I want to reread the series every year and even though Amanda got me the brand new covers I still need to keep these and then this one I'm definitely keeping the night and its moon Bailey sent me this one she found this author on TikTok I believe the whole thing is completely self-published and I think it's a queer romance fantasy so I really really want to read this one I know she really liked it so I have high hopes for that one. Already this first one here I do not think I will ever read. Lottie Biggs is not desperate. This was a coming of age YA story found on book outlet but I have honestly not touched it. The only reason I would consider keeping it is because the cover is really cute. It sounds like just very young. I don't doubt that this is a really good book. I just think it might be a little young for me now. And then The Apocalypse, I think is going to be another one. Oh, and this one's slightly more damaged. I got this one from a book outlet. I might try to donate this one. I don't know if I could sell it since it's kind of damaged, but I don't think I would read it. The Babysitter, honestly, at the time, I thought this was a really good deal because it also included an entire other novel, The Affair. However, I don't see myself picking this one up. I have a whole shelf full of mystery thrillers. You guys saw that video. It honestly doesn't sound too bad. Maybe I would give this one away. Like I wonder if Amanda would like it maybe. <laughs> or maybe I'll just put this one on the side to move it away from these bookshelves but I might end up reading it later on. Nine sounds really interesting. I think I would want to read it. I love the cover of how it feels to float. This in the Cerulean. The Langoliers. <sighs> I really didn't love this book, but it is my first Stephen King, so I might keep it for that reason. All Our Broken Pieces, wonderful story. The Art of Starving I want to read. Goodbye Days. This was another book outlet one I don't think I would read anytime soon. I'm gonna move that one aside. I Know What You Did Last Summer. I do want to give myself a chance to read that one. Genuine Fraud, I did not like at all. And this is the same author as We Were Liars and I actually did really like that book despite popular opinion. However, I could not get into this book. It was told backwards, which is a interesting concept, but I think I just couldn't connect or get into the story that way. I am gonna keep it just in case I decide to give it one more chance because I like this author's writing in We Were Liars, but I don't know if I would do that one anytime soon. We have a whole mess of a shelf here as well. On the top we have Bad Girls with Perfect Faces. I don't think I would read this one. I know you remember, honestly, <laughs> I don't think I'd read this one anytime soon, but this was part of my most recent book outlet order, so I think I'm gonna hold on to it just because it's so new. Hopefully I read it. I'm gonna put it over here. 
Kill All Happies is another one book outlet I thought was going to be really super fun YA coming of age story. However, I have yet to pick it up. It's been on my shelf for a very long time and I think it reads a little younger than some of these other ones. So I am going to put that one aside. How to Make Friends with the Dark. Honestly, that one was hard to get through as well, but it is Kathleen Glasgow and I love Girl in Pieces, so I'm going to keep it. The Guest List I haven't read. This was a book club book. Kids of Appetite. I do really like this cover and it's kind of like a murder mystery. So I'm going to keep that one. The Collide. I'm thinking of ending things honestly I don't know how I feel about this book I haven't watched the movie adaptation yet though so I'm gonna hold on to that until I watch it book club book scattering the girl on the train don't even get me started on this book I when I read this one last year I honestly thought this is the worst book I've ever read and I don't know if I just didn't give it enough of a chance like I didn't get through to the very end the narrator is just so narcissistic the worst person that i've ever experienced and i'm sure that's part of the storytelling i just could not get through it i did dnf it but it's so short that I almost feel like I should give it one more shot and if I can't finish it then I'll get rid of it. The Life and Death Parade, another book outlet one. Let's see what this one's about. It reminds me of this last one, The Poison's Kiss, a little bit and I loved that one. How She Died, How I Lived, I'm gonna keep that one as well. I guess we're making a little bit of space, not too much. This last shelf is a bit of a mess. I know I'm keeping these three for sure even though I did DNF Ninth House. I feel like I can't part with it just yet in case I end up wanting to finish it. I just don't know that I will. And here I have all my school books just books I needed to buy because I needed to read them for classes I don't think I would keep any of these definitely would get rid of these two I think I would keep all of these I know that this movie just got finished filming so the beautiful disaster movie is coming out soon I'm excited to see it even though my Travis Maddox is not by any means Dylan Sprouse I love Dylan and Cole Sprouse but I just did not picture him as Travis Maddox so I don't know how I'm gonna get past that I think if anything I would unhaul unwind I do love Neil Schusterman he's one of my favorite authors however this copy I got when we were book thrifting and it's just kind of beaten up I'd rather donate it or sell it and then buy the newer copies because this isn't even the cover I originally wanted so I think I'd get rid of this one so here are the two stacks I think this was a good on haul so I'm excited to reorganize my shelves now that I have a little bit more space okay okay I think that's going to be it for today's video thank you so much for watching this chaotic mess we ended up with a decent amount of books to donate sell get moved out of the way and I think it's going to open up a lot more shelf space maybe sometime in the future I'll do a shelf reorganization video or something like that because I need to put all of the books I have on the floor back onto my shelves as always thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe if you're here let me know in the comments some books that you've decided to unhaul or if you like the idea of unhauling. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.